Well, what up, YouTube? I just wanted to do a quick update so I don't forget anything, but um, we went all the way across the United States using Harvest Hosts and a few other things, and hey, it's a vacation. We don't have to stick to one thing the whole time. But uh, so far, at the Harvest Host experience, um, they're not sponsoring me or anything like that. It's been just perfect. I couldn't have asked for anything better. My first night I left California, ended up at a golf course in Cottonwood. Everybody was gone by five, six o'clock. Bar was open, had a drink with a couple old guys. Watched the sun go down as the sprinklers. I'll set up, I'll send a video or make a better video with some edits of the shots, but slept perfect until some jackass at 5 a.m. was looking for cans or something in the trash and it woke me up, but I get up early anyways. Uh, that, that day I went to uh, Sedona Bike Park, ended up being a skate park with it. I spit as long as I could there most of the day um, so much fun met a couple young kids from Cottonwood brought the BMX bike it was just us at the skate park and two other guys at the mountain bike park awesome awesome day uh, next stop was Albuquerque picked up my kids and wife and then after that we hit uh, Texas north of Amarillo we went to a cattle ranch I think it was Lana and Chansey's cattle ranch again only ones there cows walking by quiet made a fire had bought some of their jerky super sweet people nice ladies hooked us up um, next night was a flower farm in Arkansas I think it's called ah, shoot Sacred Hollow um, host I forget his name maybe Josh super nice dude couldn't have been nicer um, my daughter picked flowers then he told us where to go to this lake we went down to this lake the next day and just warm water no crowd barbecued for lunch epic spot highly recommend him super nice guy beautiful flower farm cool story to his life uh, really enjoyed spending the night there after that we hit bentonville for some mountain biking um, if you like mountain biking bentonville the walmart foundation or the grandkids whoever did it did amazing job with those the bike trail system the art throughout the trails is so colorful and I'm not a big art guy but I'm going back there for at least a week next time it was so fun my kids had fun my wife had fun I had fun who would have known Bentonville um, I guess a lot of people know just not me but it was great um, and then after that we went to stayed at a lady I think her Harvest host thing is called Tobacco Road in Kentucky. Um, nicest lady. Oh, shoot, I forget her name. Bobby Jean? Ugh, I'll get it. But anyways, beautiful six-acre spot with a pond, her pool. She ended up not being there, but she let us pull in, and um, she came later. And my kids jumped in her pool. We set up our camp. I mean, again, only ones there. Quiet. Every once in a while, some jackass on a Harley would come ripping by, but not her fault. I mean, great, great spot. So, and then after that, we hit uh, North Carolina, our friend's house. Had a blast, Lake Norman, surfing, wakeboarding, tubing. So much fun. So, anyways, when we made it to New York, oh, look at that. There's a deer just walking. I don't know if you can see that. See that? He's just over there. In someone's driveway huh anyways kind of cool but um i wanted to make the video in case i forgot anything and we spent a week with family in new york do not go to new york for van life the roads are horrible it's crowded tolls traffic i mean i got family here so they make it fun but van life in new york no awful uh so we're headed back uh, we're going westbound. We've been on the road, I think, three and a half weeks. I don't miss my house at all. Thought I would, but haven't even thought about it. So, if you're thinking about doing this, just go for it, man. Super fun. If you get tired of vans, just grab a hotel. We did in Bentonville. We grabbed a suite at the Hilton, I think. Yeah, it was 250 bucks a night, but breakfast, everybody's clean, everybody's happy, the pool. Um, you know, again, it's a vacation. You don't have to suffer. You're supposed to enjoy it. All right, peace.